Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're trying the new Fizzy Art palette together. We're gonna play with it and um, I created this look and I'll show you the demo. Um, this palette retails for around 40 euros. I think it's about 44 uh, US dollars. And it's inspired by the beach. It's called uh, Soleil La Plage, which is sun the beach, <laughs> which is grammatically a little bit weird, but all right. <laughs> This is what the palette looks like. Fizzy Art has really been stepping up their game with the packaging. This is really the embodiment of beach summer fun. So I thought I'd wear my matching earrings. I got this new. I'm gonna mention them a lot in this video, so be prepared. <laughs> All right, let's do some swatches. I'm going to swatch from left to right, top to bottom. This one feels very creepy. This is the pale metallic yellow. I'm going to swatch the matte ones twice. So that's the first four. a little bit more metallics than it has mattes. So it has five mattes and seven metallics, which I think really fits the summery theme. Can we? Yeah, we're gonna fit the other ones too. So this is the palette. And I have to say I'm impressed with the depth of this one. So you have this really dark chocolate brown, which I used on my eyes. But the second to last shade is actually quite deep as well. So you get some variety with that one. And then you have this bright yellow and this pale yellow. And this middle tone brown as transition shades or highlights. And then you have all these fun metallic shades. So of course the blue one really jumps out but also these bronzy ones and this red one is very pretty so yeah that's the palette swatched so now let's jump into the demo of this look and then i'll explain in my final thoughts if i think this is work worth picking up or not let's get into the demo of this beautiful eyeshadow palette i'm sure i showed you in the intro but this is what it looks like and these are the shades and since I'm wearing these earrings, I thought I'd go for the blue shade. And also I think that's what everyone is curious about. So we'll do blue and yellow, I think. I'm going to start with a transition shade and I'm going to use this shade over here on a big brush. Just put that in the crease. that much deeper than my skin tone but it shows up oh by the way I already primed my eyes using the Anastasia Beverly Hills eye primer as I usually do pigmentation on this shade is not bad I'm also going to take it underneath the lower lash line Now I'm switching to a pencil brush and I'm going into the dark chocolate shade. And I'm going to build this up in the outer V. I guess I'm also taking it into the crease more than I was <laughs> planning to. But these blend into each other very nice. Did get some fallout. I'm going to make this into 
a little bit of a dramatic look. See if that's also possible. This brown is really nice. I guess I went a little bit overboard on this side. This was more what I was aiming to do. And you can see that the transition between the pretty pale brown and the darker brown is quite effortless. And it does build up if you want a little bit more depth. Just right there. <laughs> For symmetry's sake, I am going to bring it up higher on this side as well. And I'm going back with my original brush and the original shade and I'm going to blend out the brown a little bit. And it works fine. So this is what my matte base looks like. Now we're of course going to go in with a couple of shimmers. And I want to see how well these perform without a glitter primer or anything like that. So I'm taking a flat shader brush and I'm going into the teal. And I'm going to put that on the largest part of my lid. That looks beautiful. I guess this is more of a beach party look than an actual beach look. But I wouldn't wear makeup to the beach anyway. I'm going to bring it over with whatever is remaining. What a nice blue. Now I want to try another shimmer shade on the lower part of the, the inner part of the lower lash line. I think I'm going to go with this gold over here. Oh, that's actually more of an orange. That's beautiful. I like that contrast between the blue and the orange. I wasn't expecting them to be so complementary. Now I'm cleaning up my pencil brush again and I'm going into this very pale cream shade. And I'm going to put that in the inner corner. That's it for the eyeshadows. The fallout doesn't brush away completely. A little bit did get stuck on my cheeks. Just FYI. I'm going to finish up the look using a blue eyeliner from LA Girl. And then I'm just going to use some black mascara from, from Catrice. And that's it for the eye look. I'll put my uh, face makeup on and I'll finish up with my final thoughts. So this is the finished look. I thought I'd make it a classic nighttime look using a metallic lipstick and a lot of highlighter. <laughs> but I love this eyeshadow. I think it matches my earrings very well. So for my final thoughts, I love this palette. I haven't used every shade, but they look beautiful. 
and they combine very nicely and this uh, dark brown really makes the palette very, very diverse more than their previous palettes have done I believe I think the quality is actually a little bit better than my chroma palette which uh, I didn't really like the white in that one and also the black was sort of okay but I like this brown a lot better and this color story is beautiful so yeah I think if it's still available I I would definitely recommend it but also I think apart from this blue shade these shades can be found in other palettes I saw <coughs> Gigi's Beauty uh, do a comparison between this yellow shade over here and the one in the Natasha Denona Tropic palette and this one was a little bit less um, bright so the Natasha Denona one turned a little bit ashy on her and this one did not so maybe that's uh, relevant for you to know um, so yeah that's my final thoughts i hope you enjoyed this video please consider subscribing to my channel and i'll see you in the next one